What's up guys? In this video, I will work on the validations on the to do form. So as you can see, if I do a false submit or a blank entry, I'm handling it on the server end, but there is nothing happening on the front end for the user to know that the validation has failed. Okay, so we are going to tackle that. Uh, the package which I'm going to use is view validator. Okay. Uh, it has a very nice documentation similar to view router. So let's quickly get into the installation. You can use the script JS directly if you want, but I'm using NPM. So let me go to the terminal NPM install view validator. I'll save it. It is downloaded and now let's look at integration okay the first thing which i'm going to do is get rid of the save button we are really not using that in our application so to do add this is our file and this is our button so let me get rid of that okay it's a form submit so now we are already taking care of that okay so hit refresh fine everything is working now the next thing is we need to handle the add to do okay this is where you know we need to check whether the form is valid or not so let's see what the packet says uh, getting started okay so we understand that there is a directive called validator which we can use and we need to name it so let's quickly do that i'll just copy this this is my form so i'll name it to do so form okay this is my validator and it's fine uh, let me indent that so the first step is done which is this directive and let me do a no validate so that the required fields are not captured directly okay and as you can see this is the attribute which is added to an input field we validate username now this username is the id which is given here okay if you see id comment and then comment here so we need to give give an id let's do that id equals to do dash text okay let me just format it a bit with this done we need to add the uh, validator conditions so we validate colon and then the field name right so to do text equals sorry this now here they have written in square brackets required that is one way of doing it but i want to also you know kind of give the error messages so if you go to this part you know, I'm skipping it for now you know when I'll be doing the uh, sign up form for my application which is uh, coming soon I'll go into details of everything but for now let's just understand that we had that square bracket and required as one option or we can do objects like this so required rule is true message is this minimum length rule is 8 message is this so we can copy this okay and add this one okay there's some problem what is it yeah so this second bracket is missing okay so we have required equals true and messages please add some text fine now that is done if you see 
they are adding a span and then it's dollar validation password which is the field and then required required is basically the rule name so they have a required they have a span for the required and a span for min minimum length so we can do that now i'll just copy this add it here uh, put it in a div for now class errors uh, fine yeah that should do we have dollar validation dollar validation should be available so yes dollar validation to do text required uh, this name is not giving me the confidence let's change that um, okay I'll do this one word okay required and so we have this okay so we will get the message and fine let's just try it out but before that how do we how do we handle this let's for now comment it out reload it says fail to resolve directive validate ah yes so quick imports i have to import view validate validate or was it validator i think they are using validator uh, get started it's better to follow the con conventions no, uh, where is it installation is this npm install yes they are doing va validator so let's stick to that from view validator okay so I've imported it I need to tell view that I'm going to use this what happened so error while evaluating dollar validation one my mistake so it's not dollar validation it's dollar to do form mistakes which we do while doing copy paste <laughs> anyways so refresh and now it's working as you can see now here we have a problem please add some text is already there now okay I can add the text and I know that the error will go away but as soon as I you know hit refresh it gives me the error message right so most of it is done if we want we can try out the uh, minimum length as well but before that what we will do is you know we the reason I have this div wrapper is you know let's have a dit object which is show errors which by default is false you now you got what I'm trying to do right uh, so we if this will show up only if view errors is true now view errors will only be true when this dot dollar to do form okay I'll explain how this is coming dot valid okay so if this is true sorry then do this Um, else this dot show errors equals true okay and yeah before doing that I'll show you how we are getting this this is important to understand for now let's just keep that as it is hit refresh okay mm, trying okay so this is the object um, so we have quite a few properties like whether the form is dirty whether it is invalid which we are checking invalid is false and valid is true also 
we have the field called to do text right so that's also available as an object and again it will have this these same properties which means i have dirty that is true because it has been touched invalid it should be false right so each field is an object in our form and that's how we can you know go ahead and write our logic you know it's very simple and very easy to implement so you know uh, now that we have this uh, let me just do one more thing equals false so if for some reason we have done a submit and then we are showing the errors after completing we will again set it false i'll show you how, what's the problem and why we am doing that uh, let me hit refresh okay so trying one okay this is working hit refresh nothing is there and then checking okay it's again come in right um okay so we don't need that i'll i thought it was re required uh, fine yes that's the reason i was i was keeping this you know it's again you know coming back even if i have submitted it so that's the reason i've kept it i'll hit refresh now what will happen is so i have this i have an i have an error and then i type this hit enter i don't see the error again until and unless i do a mistake okay and i hit submit so yeah that's how uh, we handle a very basic validation on a form you know this is just one input field where we are handling but later on i'm going to uh, you know work out with the complete sign up form and in that it will have complex uh, things but yeah that's how you get started i hope you like the video guys um, if you like it do click on the thumbs up icon subscribe to my channel and share it on social networking websites thanks mm -hmm.